When uh, doing a genuine random sample, uh, you want to make sure that um, the people you're picking um, are representative of a population. Uh, so if we look at method one, um, selecting 30 students who enter the school in the morning, the first 30, there might be a type of student who enters the school early. Um, so that would not be a genuine random sample. Uh, select a class of 30 students in the school. Again, they will all be in the same uh, class, so the same year group um, and maybe the same ability. So we'll cross that out. Method four, select the first 30 students alphabetically. That is quite random, but um, everyone in the um, population needs an equal chance of being picked. Uh, and if you had a name beginning with Z, then you wouldn't be have an equal chance of being picked. So that's not a great one. But method three, picking 30 students out of a hat containing all the students' names. So you put all the students in a hat, um, and sometimes a hat is a figurative, uh, just uh, a way of describing it. It doesn't have to be a hat, <laughs> but um, for some reason we always say names out of a hat. Then everyone here has an equal chance of being picked, uh, and there's no bias towards a, perf a certain group. So my answer for this is method three. And if you're asked how to do a genuine random sample, names out of a hat, making sure that you have all the students' names in the hat, um, and obviously you mix it uh, up quite well, then that's always the best method.